Okay, so today might be the last day you guys see me with regular hair. You guys can see my voice is still going in and out, but I do this thing once a year. I do this thing once a year where I sit here and I'll braid my hair and then I'll start like popping out with the bits because I have like a shit ton of do-rags. I'm going to try my hardest to keep it in. I, I, well, it's going to be a lot of beanie pluses because I don't like just wearing the do-rag out, but it's going to be a lot of beanie pluses the next couple of months. Between beanies and different color do-rags and shit. Yo, when I tell you I have so many colors, I have like, I have blue, black, red, pink, purple, green, or I have so many fucking do-rags. And I only have my hair braided for like two times a year, and it's not for a long time because I'm very tender-headed. But I'm going to power through today because I want to get it braided. I got a haircut, as you guys can see, yesterday too. And I don't know, I probably should have got it braided and got a haircut. Okay, so I upgraded my classes. So this is mainly what this video is going to be. It's not going to really be too much of a actual gameplay video just because I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't really play playing today. Oh, before I get this started, they put the WWE title on Big E. I don't know how I feel about that. It felt a little rushed. I'm going to be honest everybody's like congratulating wwe yes it was the right choice to go after bobby lashley it was definitely rushed especially with what they had in mind going into wrestlemania with lashley going against brock lesnar and on top of that they were already having a feud with bill goldberg so i don't really know we're gonna just let it go biggie's the champion we'll go from there anyway uh first loadout is the uh season one meta so if you guys remember back in season one we were overusing the uh, m4a1 and the uh, the AX50, which was the setup class that I was using at least when you know Warzone first came out, and it was a banger. And now I'm probably gonna run it back in fucking Rebirth or something. So the reason why I named this title class scared is because I'm scared to use it. Now this is a CX9 with a uh, XM4. Now I know the XM4 hits very good in Warzone, especially the Black Ops Cold War M4. It's really good. And the reason why I'm so scared and why I'm so nervous to use it is because if you guys know me, I switch over to my secondary a lot, like really easy. I don't go over if I'm in a gunfight. I don't switch out my mag. I switch if I'm in a gunfight. I don't go and switch my mag out. I switch my weapon. That's where double time comes in perfectly. And if I miss my thermite, then I'm gonna go ahead and use my secondary, which is the CX9. And I've never actually used the CX9 at Warzone. The third one, which this is a gun I'm still leveling up, as some of you guys might know, is the uh, the bully. This is the Black Ops Cold War AK-47 class, which I like, and it has. And I went ahead and I slapped a uh, golden viper on it, which doesn't seem too golden. I hope they patched that. I like it. It seems like you know decent overall, and you know uh, Dark Ether doesn't fit it too good. It it doesn't cover uh, all of the guns, so I like, you know, Golden Viper. It fits him. And then the Bullfrog over here, this is going to be the main gun, even though it is a uh, SMG. This is going to be the main gun that we go for. This is more of a Rebirth class. I don't think I'd ever take this into Verdansk. A lot of these classes are mainly Rebirth classes. These aren't really Verdansk classes. Uh, third one is Ghost. I have two perk classes, which means basically I'd, I'd, they, they're not for the guns. They're just for the perks. So I have Ghost and Tempered on the bottom. So obviously, when you get your first loadout, you're going to go for one of these random classes and shit. And then when the circle starts to get smaller or less people start to come in and you get your second loadout that's whenever you can get your second loadout that's when you go ahead and slap on ghost so that way yeah you can have you know two different weapons of your liking but you'll not pop up on the radar so it works out when people have their heart reset third class is the growl i can't get rid of the growl no matter how many times i try to get rid of the growl no matter how many times i tell myself that this just isn't a uh, weapon. It's a good weapon, but I keep trying to tell myself that, listen, Growl Met is over. It's never going to be over for me. I fucking love the Growl. I've been in love with the Growl since the Growl came out. Same with everybody else, obviously. And then we went over here and slapped on the uh, Roman Standard Swiss K31 with the, um, like the Roman Standard, you know, minerals mixed in with the dark ether which i think is very very nice then we got a semtex uh amped overkill double time just the normal perks that you would add in warzone with the heartbeat sensor and i enjoy this then this is the don't class the reason why i named this the don't class is because when i'm feeling cocky sometimes i need to simmer down i want to try this out this is one of the challenging class setups i want to make a video on it this is going to be the uh c58 which is a very easy gun for me to use and for me to handle whether it's in rebirth or verdansk but but the far 83 is a gun that that's never really been my best friend and it's if i don't know a lot of people were like oh man it's a really good assault rifle this is an smg i don't care what nobody says i like this variant it looks nice it looks pretty i i think so this is more of a it looks better than it might come off if you get a second loadout and you already have ghost on then use the far 83 this right here is the fortnite class setup okay obviously we got the scar over here which i will never shy away from i will easily say the scar is the greatest gun okay let me run that back real quick the scar is one of the guns up there that i just realized i didn't have a scope on it but anyway the the scar is one of those guns that are very much up there and then this is a shotgun i'm not sure this is a equivalent to a pump but this is one of my favorite shotguns in the game the 725 and it's one of the most easier shotguns 
to use as far as rebirth especially rebirth you get a lot more close quarter situation uh then obviously here we have the c58 class setup this class setup uh, a lot of people know me to use the uh, c58 with the psh which i wanted to change out this ppsh variant for i wanted to change it out for this thing right here the night raid which you guys know i've been using a lot more i've really mainly been using this re recently just because of the tracers tracers are always a very pretty looking war zone especially when you're shooting and killing somebody it's always a very nice touch the milano class setup this is a uh, kilo class i have mixed then with the milano milano was a still heavy hitting gun at least milano is still a very good heavy hitting gun in my opinion and slapping it over with the kilo is just uh pure magic at its finest i've used this class setup in one of my warzone videos so if you guys I'm gonna go uh back and test it out you guys can and then this is the tempered class setup this is literally just like if i'm feeling cocky that's why i have a for the ghost i have a tundra and for this i have a pellington with the uh this i have a pellington i forgot exactly what blueprint this is this is the uh wind rider blueprint and then i went ahead and obviously like changed some things over and slapped on golden viper on it and i think this shit looks very very nice i if i had a different raider stock i would definitely change that because i feel like this throws off the entire aesthetic of what i'm going for but it's fine the main classes that you're gonna Ever see me really use in warzone is the season one meta i'm definitely gonna go back and start using that more whenever i level up the bullfrog fully to get the perfect class for it i'm gonna be using the bullfrog and i'm of course gonna be using the ppsh and c58 the rest of these classes are just to if i want to shake it up and i have a lot of warzone videos coming out as far as this next you know month coming in so i definitely want to do something with it i'm really excited to get those videos going i hope you guys are excited so I, i'm it's gonna kind of be interesting to see how i fare using guns that i've never used before i had equipped but i never used the ax50 in warzone i think i hit like three shots with it in total in warzone I never used the uh xm4 or c58 in warzone which i know might be surprising but i've never touched any m4 i never touched a cold war m4 in, in warzone so this is gonna be new for me but i, I doubt it's you know it's pretty it's gonna hit I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure of it and the cx9 i've never used in warzone so i'm kind of scared about that i've never used the bullfrog or the ak47 in warzone so that's gonna be really fun i used the fara when it was kind of meta i guess but i didn't really use it as much as i probably could have i've used both of these weapons in warzone i like it and everything else yeah I've, I've used in warzone everything else is pretty good i don't know how long this video end up coming out to be but uh this is just a uh, updated warzone class setups if that makes any sense i didn't have a specific video idea for today but i kind of wanted to just let you guys know that i'm chilling and i'm like if you guys can hear it in my voice i'm really trying to get back together from my cold i've been going through a lot of hair crisis lately i got a haircut i'm feeling good but i, I don't know i i think it's time to braid it back you know what i'm saying i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do as far as braids but you guys will probably see i don't know whenever i get my hair braided i usually show it off on like instagram or twitter i never actually show it off on youtube i usually just wear like a do rag with a beanie on youtube especially with winter coming up i want to have my hair as wrapped up as possible it's been raining like crazy lately and i'm just not trying to deal with that that and for anybody who has an afro out there knows that the headphone dents are deadly and i'm not trying to deal with that going into vanguard it seems like something so minor and so stupid but trust me the headphone dent ruins your fucking life everybody's like oh man how the fuck can a headphone dent ruin your experience i have this weird thing with my hair when i take my headset off i'm gonna pick this shit out for like 20 minutes that's how i know i'm gonna be late to school because i'm gonna sit here picking this shit out just to put the headset back on and edit my video and then take it off to go to school and i'm gonna pick it out again then it's gonna look fine but i'm gonna I feel like I have a problem with it. So much goes into it and it's too stressful and I don't want no stress at all. And it's easier as far as working out. Some of you guys know with me getting over my cold and shit, I haven't worked out in a couple of days and I'm, I'm trying to really get back on it. And I don't know, with me working out with Afro and shit, it's fine, but it definitely uh, gets in the way at times. Because when my hair gets really wet or really like sweaty or, or if I wet it, it, it lays down and that shit gets annoying. And I'm still trying to work on something when it comes to Morty, but as far as Morty, he, he accumulates so much fucking hair and it, it sounds crazy on a day-to-day -day basis i found myself literally picking fucking cat hair out of my i shouldn't be doing that me and morty had a nice little talk this morning about what's going down for now on it's going to be daily brushes for him i didn't i i kind of been slacking on that but i'm getting back on it for my sake too and i have so many fucking colors in there so i'm just down to do some fun shit i don't fucking know like i said this has had nothing to do with the content and shit i'm still gonna make videos if you guys go back last year i still made videos and shit i'm just talking at this point talking about what i'm doing in my personal life that's really what the channel's always been about just me talking about my personal life and shit i'm just trying to be as transparent with you guys as possible i don't want to just pop out here with something different and you guys are like what the fuck whoa plus what did i miss so yeah that's gonna be it for me today hopefully you guys enjoy my warzone classes if you guys uh disagree with any of my warzone classes i feel like uh you guys noticed something like uh, a stock or just something that was on a class that shouldn't be there let me know down in the comment section below and i'll change it and uh yeah that'll be for today's video peace